Welcome to the project demonstration of overcurrent and under voltage detection and alerting in transformers using IoT and GSM technology. So here we are going to monitor the current and voltages on this transformer. So we are using 12 volt 2 amp transformer. The output is connected to the load through this current transformer. So this is a main transformer and the load will be measured by this current transformer which was connected in series with the load. So the input wire and through the CET and it was given as input to this regulated power supply board as we are using the DC load here. So that's why we need to connect the AC which is coming out from this transformer to DC with the help of this regulated power supply board as it has the rectification and filtration modules on that and LED indication. So once we on the power supply to that, this is the on off switch for the DC load and when we on that the so called load will be same applied on the CT as it was in series with the load. So the CT will provide us the AC signal. So to measure that AC signal we need to convert that to the DC here. So coming to the current transformer readings it can measure up to 2 amps of current maximum and uh, that will be converted into the DC with the help of this potential divider circuit. So in this one we are using the resistors to step down that. Uh, below 5 volts as the controller can accept the voltage to below 5 volts only. So it consists of resistors as a potential divider that is a 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors and DB107 this black color IC is the DB107 rectifier IC and the filter which will convert the pulse rate into this the pure DC voltage and that was input to the A1 pin of our 16F 877A microcontroller and the next in order to measure the voltage so this one will act as a PT which is 230 volts to 12 volts uh, AC transformer and directly that was given as input to this uh, voltage sensor so here also like uh, in order to get the 12 volts DC input to the microcontroller we need to do the like potential dividing by using the 10 is to 1 voltage uh, resistance ratio that is 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm after that we will get the 1.2 volts as the input is 12 volts uh, based on this formulation of this potential divider concept we will get the 1.2 volts and inside the microcontroller we will multiply that with 10 times as we know the potential divider is 10 is to 1 ratio so that we will get the 12 volts inside the microcontroller whenever the voltage is less than 10 volts it will considering as a uh, low voltage alert and it will send the message alert to the mobile phone through the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, the IoT notification and SMS notification to the registered phone numbers like this will get the low voltage and high current. So for its SMS sending purpose, we are making use of this GSM module. For IoT notification purpose, we are making, making use of this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Along with this, we will get the audible alerts from this piezo buzzer and visual alerts on this 16 by 2 LCD screen. So let us uh, see the power flow. So we are providing 230 volts AC input to this transformer. Parallel is the main transformer. Parallel is same was given to the PT, and the uh, like uh, main transformer output to the load to the CT in series, and parallelly to the PT, and that will be converted into the DC again. Same here with the help of this rectifier circuits, and from there the two volts DC is input to the GSM modem, and from there we are going to provide the five volts power supply throughout the input and output operating modules. And parallelly same two volts DC input to the voltage sensor, and it was in input to the A0. A1 for the current sensor and next based on the signal it will display the LCD which was connected pin number B2 to B7 and B0 B1 for this GSM module connected and C6 C7 for this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module connected and D2 is connected to the piezo buzzer here. So let us see the demonstration before on the kit. So the very first step is we need to install the application that is SSH application. Right. So juice SSH application we need to install and the network analyzer application. After installation of these applications, now go to hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to configure that to project 5556 without any space, written in capital letter and password should be 12345678. AP band should be 2.4 GHz. After these three settings successfully done on the hotspots, now stay on the network analyzer application okay now again on the power supply to the sketch yeah sorry before that one more thing is there insert a valid sim card into the gsm module so this gsm module use atl vi or bsnl other than geo you should insert in this manner so check twice properly if you have the adapter of the sim card like a bigger bigger adapter insert that into the slots and notch should be this side and lock then on the power supply. 
so here once you on the power supply then and there only hold and press this switch and see one light blinks fast here so that particular green light so when the gsm modem get the signal the blinking red slow down right you can see initially it is blinking fast now it is slow down after that confirmation only you can release the switch till that we should hold the microcontroller uh, for communication of with the gsm module then you can release the switch so this is a very important step after got the signal only release the switch till that should hold that switch and now in your mobile phone we can see one device will be connected right you can see one device connected after this confirmation not you can note down the these steps properly on your notes and you will get the welcome message then after pt the voltage is coming out from the potential transformer is 14.66 volts and as of now there is no load connected to the system means to the transformer that's why the current is zero now do scan here so options lan scan you will get like this lan scan and do scan so one is your mobile phone another is the or kit copy this ip address now go to juice ssh so let me delete this i'll show you from starting onwards right so when you open this application this is options to manage connections add there you get the type telnet and address copy the address which we got from the network analyzer application don't add space extra end and next port number so only three changes we need to do okay so type telnet address ip address which we got from the network analyzer application port number 8080 right so after this setting successfully done click on okay now click on this now we can see the these three strings and after that continuously you can increase the font by volume up button and down by volume down button same details will be uh, like seen on this mobile phone as well as an lcd screen so when i on this load and this is the on off switch to isolate the voltage to the microcontroller to make the voltage fault for current fault we should apply the load on this dc motor so now you can see the current is displaying on the both lcd as well as on this mobile phone right now i am applying the load here manually you can see the load increases when it crosses the 875 milliamps then automatically it will send the message alerts right now the system will send the message alert to the iot application as well as it will send the message alert to the registered phone number using gsf technology we got the message okay and same for voltage fault make it is zero so get the voltage alert low voltage and send the sms you will get the low voltage this is the real time application with real time current sensors and all is the low voltage presents the system keep on sending the message alerts so before execution of the project please follow the step by step procedure then only you will get the flawless output right so finally one more time we are repeating the like uh, specifications so we are using the main transformer of 230 volts to 12 volts and 2 ampere rating and this one is the 230 volts to 12 volt 1 amp and this one is the ct can measure up to 2 amps and our dc motor ratings are 1 amp 12 volts dc and voltage sensor and voltage sensor current sensor are used to step down the voltage which is coming out from the ct and pt which can be uh, accessed by the microcontroller and which is the less than 5 volts dc output